let me introduce myself first my name is muhammad ali i am a professional pharmacist and i have worked for 40 years in pharmaceutical industry i have worked for big names like uh, johnson and johnson and novartis my job was on floor i would like to share my experience of floor in this video, I would like to talk about the process capability, how to calculate the uh, calculate process capability. This is a flow chart. First, we have to define the process. Then, we have to select the process. First, we have to select the process. Then, then we have to select the measuring method. Then, we have to collect the data and do the analysis. If process is stable, go to process uh, go to process capability and check the process capability capability. If the process is unstable, investigate, do the root cause analysis and fix it. If process is stable, go to uh, process capability. If process capability is satisfactory, then it is okay. That then you can use the statistical process control to maintain the current process. If process capability is not up to the mark, then, then we have to improve the process capability first and, and then we have to check everything again, you know, the, 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 we have to collect the data and, and do the process and, and, and check the process stability and then we have to check the process capability. Now, what is process capability? Uh, Determine how good the process is performing compared to how it should be. This is, uh, is a process capability. Process capability index. Now, let me define uh, uh, the process capability index. Process capability index is a statistical tool to measure the ability of a process to produce output within the bias specifications limit. In simple words, it measures manufacturer's capability to produce a product within the bias tolerance range. CPK measure how close you are to your target and how consistent you are to around your average performance. Now here is a different value of CPK and if, 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 if value is 1.33 it indicates that the process is capable and meet the specification. Any value less than this may, may means variation is too wide compared to the specification. If 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 if, if a CPK is, is less than one means that the process is not capable of meeting the its requirement. Now here is formula for the calculation of uh, process capability. Uh, difference between the upper specification limit and lower specification limit and 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 then divided by uh, the process spread that is uh, uh, six times of the standard deviation there are two uh, one more ratio that, that is uh, uh, for, 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 for the cpk uh, one is that that uh, cp uh, is equal to the difference between the upper specification limit and lower specification limit and then divided by uh, the six times of the standard deviation for this is for the calculation of cpk we have two formula that is uh, upper specification limit minus the average then divided by uh, three standard deviation and the, the uh, other formula is average minus the lower specification limit divided by uh, three standard deviation. If, 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 if the process is capable, all of the points lies be, be between the upper control limit and lower control limit. We can say that the process is stable. formula for CP and CPK. Uh, upper is, 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 is the difference between the upper specification and lower specification divided by process spread that is uh, six times of the standard deviation. 
Now, let us calculate the CPK in real pharmaceutical manufacturing process. Let me use for this purpose the Excel sheet. Now here is formula for calculation of CP and CPK. Now let's uh, do the calculation of CPK using the Excel sheet. For this purpose let me first open the Excel sheet spreadsheet here it is and the tablet in XYZ and the target weight of the tablet is 100 milligram Compression limit is plus minus 5 percent, hence the upper limit will be 105 milligram and lower limit will be 95 milligram. And uh, we have to take the individual weight of 20 tablets, and here is the individual weight of the 20 tablets, right? And uh, we have to find out uh, the average weight, and here is the average weight of these 20 tablets. 100.2 milligram and uh, we have to find out the standard deviation of these uh, 20 individual tablets it is uh, 2.05 now now let's find out the three times of the standard deviation first so it is uh, 6. 174 now put this value into the formula now upper control limit is 105 minus the average weight that is 100.22 divided by the three times of standard deviation My apology. We have to. I have to put this uh, bracket here. So, the one value of CPK is this. The other value for CPK. Let's find out the other value of CPK. Average weight minus. the lower control limit divided by three times of standard deviation again I forgot to put back it here So other value of CPK is uh, uh, 0.84 and we have used this this formula. Now we have to find out the minimum one. The minimum one is if from these uh, among these two value is uh, minimum one is uh, 0.774118. Now if we want to find out the sigma for this we have to divide CPK by 0.334 to get the sigma value. The sigma value is 2.3. Now see that industrial limit for CPK is more than or equal to 1.33 but here the CPK what we are getting is 0.77 that is less than 1.33 that means the process is not capable and process is not stable you can see the graph also that there is lot of variation and these variation are uh, are not good because at any time it it, it 
it, it, it will go out of this specification it will go out of 105 milligram at any time it, it it might go below 95 milligram at any time so the is a lot of variation in this uh, individual weights and that is not good that's why our cpk is 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 is, 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 is less than 1.33 now let's see the other uh, example. Here is another example. We have the, the, the tablet average a tablet weight is 100 milligram, and the upper control limit is 105 milligram, and lower control limit is 95 milligram, and we have the individual weights of 20 tablets, and we'll be using this formula for this purpose. Now let's find out the three types of the standard deviation. And here is the standard deviation of uh, uh, 20 tablets. Okay. Now let's find out the three times of standard deviation. It is 2.58. Now put this value into the formula. Now upper control limit is 105 milligram minus the average weight is 99.77 divided by uh, 3 standard deviation that is 2 point this oh I have to put the bracket here I forgot to put the bracket here let's do it so one value of CPK is 2.02. .02. Let's find the other value. The average weight is uh, 99.7 minus the lower control limit is 95 then divided by 3 times of the standard deviation. Again I have to put the packet here and here. It is uh, 1.88 and this is 2. Now, which one is 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 the lowest? The, the lowest one is uh, 1.884. So our CPK is. And if we want to find out the value of sigma, it will be CPK divided by 0.334. So it will be 5 by 5. Here, here, here you can see that the value of CPK, value of CPK is more than 1.33. That means our process is stable. And you can you, you can also see that with from the chart. That, that there is not much variation as, as compared to the previous uh, chart. Now let's uh, go back to uh, our slide show. Again a control chart. You can see that all our value are within the uh, upper and lower limit. So we, 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 we can say that our process is capable. Thank you very much. In the end, I would like to quote the Galileo saying, measure the measurable and bring immeasurable to measurable. Thank you again.